right, all right, all right, all right. I hear you guys, and we're gonna make sure that we get into the bottom of this because I know you guys blew up my last video, which I really, really appreciate it. It's over a hundred thousand views thanks to you guys, but I do see that a lot of people have a lot of opinions, and we're about to get into it. So without further ado, let's see what's going on. So a lot of you guys do have a lot of criticism towards the video, which I do receive. I am not a biased party. I do not uh, support Dream, nor do I support Gumball. I don't really have a site to pick. I only see it as it comes and only see the information and evidence as it also comes. So with that being said, let's get into some of these comments as well. People saying glazing dream is crazy. The dream glaze is insane. I, <laughs> the boy is glazing dream. Yes, yes, I'm sleep deprived as well. So I am glazing dreaming. The video was recorded a year ago when Nick was 20 years old and heavily intoxicated. Dream has been holding on to the video for years. I don't know if that is true. All I know is that the video did go out and just exposing Nicholas himself. If he was holding on to it for years, then that is kind of weird. And I do receive that. I don't haven't seen any evidence towards that. Didn't Dream have to buy him the beer then since he isn't old enough? Nah, bro. Dream was holding on to it for two years. That's sad. You stupid. I do the same thing, of course. If I'm holding on to video evidence, don't pretend like you don't record things to gain leverage or because it's funny. Okay, so that was one of the things that I initially talked about in my original video, which you guys can check out. Yeah, it was a little bit weird that they were hanging out with each other and they were drinking and he was hanging out with them. Now, I do get it that he's 20 years old. I'm sure when we were all like 20 or young, we were drinking before the age of 21. So that is not a surprise to me. But as far as him holding on to a video for two years, if that is true, then that is a little bit of weird uh, leverage is a thing these days he was also 19 years old who has bipolar who was given drinks despite being under the age of 21 i don't know his medical history now if he does have mental illness i do receive that you know especially with the foodie tip thing going on as well like uh we kind of talked about that in uh, other video too so that's my opinion is if he does have medical issues and mental health issues then um you know i do feel bad for him but at the end of the day we have to be held accountable for the things that we do um, that doesn't mean that the consequence has to be massive, but there has to be a consequence to the actions that are happening. So yes, bro was drunk. You ever been drunk before? Of course, man. Of course, everybody has been drunk at least once, hopefully, unless you don't touch alcohol at all, which I do understand as well. This guy is glazing dream to the max. You a whole uh, Discord mod. I do have Discord, but I am not a mod. Uh, I do need mods on Discord. So if you guys are looking to be a Discord mod, hit me up. You say that, but everyone is on his side against dream. So he's definitely not losing his career. My point at the end of my video, my original video is I don't want anybody to lose their career i'm not someone who is for cancel culture i do understand that a lot of people have do mistakes and they can i've made a lot of mistakes in my life and you can like rebuild relationships or sometimes lose relationships for the fact cancel culture is just holding somebody accountable and not giving them a chance to change so i do understand that he's bipolar please educate yourself or at least try to understand his situation better instead of screaming on dream i am not creaming <laughs> damn that's crazy i'm not creaming over anybody uh, if he does have bipolar syndrome then i do understand that some people are manic and they go through episodes like this especially like look at the fuzzy tube situation something i'm gonna keep going back to because that is something that was relevant to the conversation is relevant today he's the albert einstein of our time the dream is the r kelly of our time okay again i don't know about dreams allegations as far as grooming and all that i did research it i did go into it but as far as i know there's still allegations and if it ends up being true then i hope the victims of the end up resolving the issue that they have with each other i really do i hope all parties involved get uh, some sort of like solution going. I don't know if that is true at the end of the day. People are innocent to proven guilty and that's how I carry myself and that's how I'm going to continue to carry myself. Until then, I do understand that it's a very sensitive topic. I know it's very hard for victims to come out and talk about situations like that, which I do receive, but at the end of the day, there are allegations until proven. And if more comes out of it, then again, I uh, will come back and talk about it because I am not a biased party. I do not care whether Dream or Gumball. I don't, I don't really care. I don't pick a side here. He was drunk again again uh it, just because you're drunk doesn't mean that you're not responsible for the things that you do this video didn't go how you thought it would did no i wasn't thinking otherwise i just kind of put videos out as they come in um i don't really care what ends up happening with it it's kind of my content thing that i do I, again i don't try to choose sides i see i take in as much as i can pause and really try to give out the information give my opinion out i don't some videos i have don't get any views some videos get these views where they blow up like this um so I don't really care whether it does good or does bad. You know, I just love doing it. It's a hobby. Okay, so let's talk about the alcohol situation. 
okay, have you drank alcohol? Have you been in alcohol? Have you been on, in the, under the influence of alcohol? Yes, I have been under the influence of alcohol, but this is something I said in the original video. I think that yes, you could be drunk, but I've never been drunk to the point where I'm saying racial slurs or saying the gay F word. And if you guys find that appropriate for anybody, then I guess you would have to check yourself and talk to somebody who cares about you that's going to hold you accountable. The reality is about it, when you're drunk like that in your state of not being conscious of yourself, the core values of what you have will come out of yourself. So what I mean by that is that I don't ever think about being homophobic. I never think about saying racial slurs. I never think about calling somebody Jewish or never do I think about threatening somebody. I've never drank any alcohol that's putting me in that position. And if you are drinking alcohol that is putting you in that position, then you might want to check yourself a little bit. Now he did, I would say that Nicholas did say that he's going to be holding himself back from drinking alcohol, which is a good thing. I hope that he really does because obviously he does not need that in his current life, especially since he's still developing. And I, and I get that a lot of people are even saying that he's young, like he's a 20 year old. It doesn't matter that if you're a 20, 21 year old or not, or 20 year old at all. You know, these are the moments that you learn from your consequences and you reestablish your personality and you kind of do the checks and balances for your ego. I think at the core of yourself, if those are what you believe or those what you think, those will manifest itself in situations like this. And a lot of people need to understand that just because you're really drunk does not mean that you can act a fool like that. Again, there is consequences to your actions. If I punch somebody in the face, I wake up in jail, then at the end of the day, I have to understand that I made a mistake. A bro just saw this video and reacted to it without knowing what happened. No, I watched the entire video and I read all the threads. If you watch my original video, like I keep saying, I go through that. I understand that a one minute clip is going to tell you a lot about me, especially with your own judgment. I'm confused on why people are like, fuck yeah, gumball, dream face, literal assault. Nicholas is not going to lose his job. He's underage drink. I don't know why, if that is true, the dream was holding on to the video for that long. I don't understand why he would do something like that. Again, I don't know why he was in the Uber with dream in the first place and why they were drunk, especially since Nicholas is underage, but still. Just because you're in your age does not mean that you still do not have access to alcohol. I'm assuming this was a joke and it's just bait. If it was, I work really well because I assume it, w it wasn't. What? It wasn't. It make you look a little too sad. Uh, this next guy is one year will be transgender gay with rainbow nails and playing Minecraft every day with his uwu friends. All right. That, that is a super, super, super like a uh, assumption of mine. He was drunk and I was having a manic episode, not to mention drink when drinking with an underage person instead of saying, hey, maybe don't drink. Yeah, I do understand that. And that's what I said in the original video. I don't understand why these two were, you know, hanging out with each other. I don't know what they were doing. But I mean, at the end of the day, if you're like under 21, you've had access to alcohol. I mean, at least once. If not, then good for you, I guess. I think that was pretty much it. I think I covered most of the stuff that I wanted to, but um, yeah, I covered most of what you guys were saying, which I was uh, quite surprised. <sighs> you know, a lot of people are tend to choose one side or the other. Um, that was not my intention. On I didn't know whether Dream was facing pedophile allegations, and I don't know what Gumball was doing or had manic episodes or whatever, but. Overall, I think, you know, at the end of the day, if Dream did do that, then he is wrong for what he did. These are two separate situations at once. You can't, you know, put them together and make your judgment off of that. At least I don't do that. I put all the evidence together and I determine I don't put all my problems in one thing and decide off of that. I, I try not to have a biased judgment like that. But definitely, I do understand you guys. If you guys feel the way you feel, that's why we're all entitled to the, our opinions and we're going to continue to be entitled to our opinions. That's the world that I want to live in because, you know, we're all individuals and we get to choose what side we're on or not be in the side, you know. So with that being said, uh, again, uh, thank you guys for all the views. Thank you guys for all the likes, all the comments, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya. Peace.